say UFT class 1 general chapter overview of test automation overview of test automation See first chapter index. Uh, first topic in this chapter disadvantages. Disadvantages of manual testing. <clears throat> Next advantages. Advantages of test automation or you can say automated testing next disadvantage of test automation next types of test tool types of test tools next <clears throat> overview of functional testing overview of functional testing See first topic disadvantage of test automation. Oh, sorry, manual testing. Disadvantage of manual testing. Can you tell me, Dinesh, uh, disadvantages? Tell me one or two disadvantages of manual testing. Okay, so it takes a lot of time. Oh, it takes time. Okay. And uh, it is tedious. Tedious. Okay. It is like uh, tendency of human error. Okay. Next. Okay. Saujanya, you tell me one or two uh, disadvantages of manual testing. Uh, yeah, definitely. One is uh, time taking. It mm. takes a lot of time. Mm. And uh, there will be a human errors, mm. uh, obviously. Yes, uh, human user may make, 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 make mistakes. Okay. Yes. Mm. Next. Yeah. What else? Those two topics already Dinesh covered. Yeah, I mean. Uh, okay, cool, really cool, cool. No problem. Surendra, anything else? Disadvantages of manual testing. Mm. It's kind of a repetitive testing, like if you want to do some repetitive testing, automation is the right choice. Okay, here we are not discussing about uh, automation testing, manual testing. Okay, see, first one, it takes more time. It takes more time. If you want to reduce the time, you need to increase the resources. It takes more time or more resources, uh, human resources and environmental resources. If you want to reduce that project time, testing time, you need to increase the resources. It takes either uh, more time or more resources. Sometimes both time and resources. This is one major drawback of manual testing. Next one, less accuracy. Less accuracy. See, human users may make mistakes. Uh, for example, in terms of complex calculations, 
you take complex calculations human users may make mistakes if it is automation if you provide tool automation tool tool is software if you provide proper logic tool can execute tests every time correctly see manual users users may make mistakes less accuracy next <clears throat> comparison of large amount of data suppose i want to compare one database data with excel file data database having 10000 records i want to compare this 10000 records with another resource resource means any database or file manual comparison is time taking process as well as less accuracy if it is tool tool can compare quickly see <clears throat> comparison of data uh, not small size data large amount of data is impractical <clears throat> <clears throat> next some types of testing is not possible possible but impractical for example performance testing i want to test 10000 users load organizing arranging and organizing 10000 machines and 10000 testers is impractical see performance testing is impractical next tell me sojana anything else performance testing is impractical and uh, i think uh, suppose batch testing is time taking process if you want to execute test batches series of tests for each and every test case execution manual user <coughs> user interaction is mandatory if it is automation without human user interaction tool can execute series of tests quickly see batch testing means executing series of tests is time taking process next <clears throat> data driven testing executing tests with multiple sets of test data <clears throat> data data driven testing is possible but time taking data driven testing is time taking process uh, dinesh anything else um i think that's it okay see these are the uh, major disadvantages of manual testing takes more time less accuracy comparison of large amount of data is impractical all types of testing is not possible example performance testing is impractical next batch testing takes more time data driven testing takes more time next advantage of test automation just a minute
advantage of test automation uh, tell me saujanya advantage of test automation uh, it is very fast fast uh, hmm. and we can do a lot of regression testing hmm. and we can compare the data very easily <clears throat> yes we can compare large amount of data easily okay okay mm. okay put mute surendra tell me advantages of test automation uh, saujanya told one yeah, advantage it's... fast any other it's more accurate it's more accurate yes more accurate accurate next we can do some performance not with heavy load like small load. <clears throat> with heavy load also if it is automation you can test heavy loads also what is the problem you need to arrange the environment okay here we are not discussing about uh, only eft tool test automation any kind of test automation if it is functional test automation or performance test automation anything okay see so first one <clears throat> fast what is fast <clears throat> see in software testing two important tasks one is test design another is test execution one is test design another is test execution these two are important tasks in software testing test design for test design tools are not fast why for test design user interaction is mandatory tools provide interface you can use tool features and script features programming features to design tests but user interaction is mandatory but for test execution user interaction optional without human user interaction also tools can execute tests quickly <clears throat> series of tests see test design for test design manual testing test automation almost all same sometimes automation takes more time than manual testing in manual testing just analyzing the requirements and writing test cases in automation you need to design test script using tool features and script features sometimes test automation takes more time than manual testing in case of test design but for test execution fast without human user interaction tool can execute tests quickly uh, final conclusion anyhow test design is one time activity test execution multiple times so definitely you can save the time test design one time activity test execution multiple times so definitely you can save the time if it is manual testing if you want to execute tests multiple times every time time taking process every time it takes time suppose for first cycle some 100 tests taking two days for second cycle also two days third cycle also two days approximate if it is automation tools can execute quickly every time without human user interaction so definitely we can save the time got the point saujanya did you understand this concept fast tools are faster in test execution yes. not in test design isn't it yes yeah that's uh, right tools are faster in test design only uh, test execution test only execution. test execution only but mm -hmm. anyhow test execution multiple times definitely we can save the time this is one next <clears throat> reliability 
see <coughs> tool is software if we use tool in proper manner definitely you can achieve desired benefits if we use proper logic tools can provide correct output correct result every time if it is if it is manual testing human users may make mistakes but if you provide proper logic tool can provide correct result every time tool is software next reusable reusable <clears throat> we can reuse our tests and components components means reusable components uh, examples functions we can reuse our tests and components on different versions of software if it is manual testing every time human user interaction is mandatory we can reuse our tests and components on different versions of software a uh, type of testing is sanity testing we need to conduct sanity testing multiple times for every build on every build next regression testing <clears throat> say sanity testing verifying whether the build is acceptable or not by executing basic functionality tests this we have to conduct on every build sanity tests static fixed regression tests dynamic depends on strength of the development team and complexity of the application see if it is manual testing we need to execute manually every time sanity tests or regression tests if it is automation once you design tests tool can execute series of tests without human user interaction quickly next repeatable repeatable don't confuse don't confuse reuse reusable is different repeatable is different <coughs> reusable means reusing tests on different versions of software repeatable means executing same tests on uh, executing same tests with multiple sets of test data suppose login test is there executing login test 20 times on same build 20 times 30 times with uh, multiple sets of test data repeatable executing tests using multiple sets of test data the term is data driven testing data driven testing did you find the difference between reusable and repeatable dinesh yes what is the difference um repeatable is like uh, using you know testing again and again using different set of data mm. uh, reusable is using you know um it's like uh, using the same uh, same script mm. less clarity you tell me surendra difference between reusable and repeatable surendra saujanya 
I have a question here. Ah. Uh, different versions of software in the sense what kind of softwares we are talking Same here. Same software. Different versions means build versions. Build versions. Build okay. versions. Suppose oh, okay. first build. First build we raised uh -huh. some 200 defects. Uh -huh. <coughs> so developers fix those defects. Then uh -huh. release uh, second version. Modified build. Execute same tests on modified build. You need to execute sanity tests on all builds now. Second version, third yes, version, yes, fourth yes, version. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, I got it now. Oh. See, same version of software means build versions. Build versions, oh. yeah. First okay. build. No, first, they, first developers release first build. Suppose if you find some defects, they fix defects and release second build, modified build. Next, mm -hmm. uh, perform sanity and regression testing on modified build and find some defects and raise defects. Developers fix those defects and release modified build, build version 3. See, you can execute same test, sanity tests on different versions of software. Regression, regression tests are dynamic. Suppose this time you select 200 re regression tests on second version. On third version, mm -hmm. you can select 120 tests. On fourth version, 90 tests depends on bug fixes isn't it okay Re that is reusable ah now you try to answer my question what is the difference between reusable and repeatable so reusable is like you know we can uh, reuse the same data uh, in not different data. versions tests. not data test uh, same, same test in different versions ah. and data driven is like different data ah. with same uh, Test cases, that um, test uh, sets. That's what I'm thinking. Same tests, same da different data. I mean, same. Okay, 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 cool. <clears throat> See, reusable. Executing tests on different versions of software. Build one, build two, build three, build four, like that. Next, repeatable. Executing tests using multiple sets of test data on same build but using multiple sets of test data that is repeatable repetitive execution got the point Dinesh any confusion yes okay yeah. okay repeatable okay for repeatable also <clears throat> uh, if we use manual testing methodologies takes more time why? Suppose if you want to execute login test using 50 user IDs and passwords, 50 sets of data, 50 iterations for each and every iteration user interaction required. If it is automation, <clears throat> you can use any resource. Resource means test data file in this scenario. Test data file, Excel file or flat file or database file. You connect test data file with the test then without user interaction tool can execute uh, test with multiple sets of test data quickly <clears throat> okay uh, first of all uh, repeatable okay why repeatable why data driven testing data driven testing means executing tests using multiple sets of test data my question is why data driven testing suppose for one input <clears throat> my application is responding fine for one user id and password my application is providing login functionality login is working fine then why we need to test login functionality with multiple sets of test data surendra getting my question <clears throat> we wanted to, we wanted to see how the application behaves with uh, mm. all different values mm. okay less uh, Hello? clarity yes continue yeah, basically the purpose of this data driven testing is to see mm. how the application behaves with uh, positive values and negative values. Good. If negative values, yes, if any error is thrown. For positive and negative testing, 
primary purpose of data driven testing is positive and negative testing suppose for valid inputs my application is responding fine what about handling invalid inputs it has to accept valid inputs and prevent invalid inputs primary purpose of data driven testing is positive and negative testing and and one secondary purpose also there <coughs> checking the reliability of the system system means application under test in this scenario checking the reliability of the system suppose if you execute login functionality 20 times 30 times you can check the reliability suppose in internet you can find some uh, scenarios if you perform same task again and again some applications may hang hanging application is not reliable application it has to respond every time got this point so Jenna, purpose of data driven testing primary purpose secondary purpose yes okay next programmable say <clears throat> if it is manual testing no programming only thinking reasoning writing test cases and executing test cases writing test cases and executing test cases no programming but in test automation we use programming logic if it is uft we use vb script if it is selenium we use uh, selenium supports nearly six programming languages you can use either java or php or Perl, python ruby uh, most of the selenium testers using java okay that is different concept test tools <clears throat> you take any functional test automation tool UFT, Selenium, Silk Test, Test Complete, Test Partner, RFT, Rational Functional Tester from IBM, RFT, they, su they support programming. They use any one programming language. You can, you can apply programming logic to our tests. You can use programming features in our tests for example <clears throat> if you want to insert verification points you can use conditional statements flow control statements if you want to use if you want to reuse some statements you can use functions programmable say you can use programming features in our tests okay what are the programming features tell me Saujana general programming features general programming features common um, features see programmable yeah. one of the advantage yeah. of test art just a minute one of the advantage of test automation is programmable what is the advantage mm -hmm we can use all programming features in our tests okay uh, now tell me what are the general programming features variables variables then na? yes there will be variables yes we can use variables for storing data in our tests next operators are um, there you can use operators for mathematical and uh, logic uh, mathematical comparison and logical operations ah, next maybe. pardon uh, using like functions yes you can use functions before that uh, variables to data type data types variables operators next uh, flow control statements flow control conditional statements and loop statements next functions 
एक्सेट्रा वट इज द अडवांटेज ऑफ यूजिंग प्रोग्रामबल प्रोग्रामिंग फीचर्स दिनेश वट इज द अडवांटेज इन मैनुअल टेस्टिंग नो प्रोग्रामिंग इन ऑटोमेशन यू कैन यूज प्रोग्रामिंग फीचर्स वट इज द अडवांटेज i think because of program programmable feature only we can use like we can use a data driven testing right right we can use multiple data set and test no i think without without programming features also you can use data driven testing see in uft another concept so, is there data yeah, table data table is there without programming you can use data table so Next. we can use like, yeah we can use uh, we can write one um, code and then use multiple times i'm just i'm just using my best okay. sense okay, okay. see just a minute advantage is say data driven testing without using programming features also you can conduct data driven testing in eft <clears throat> one feature is there tool feature data table using data table you can conduct data driven testing next without using conditional statements also you can insert verification point verification points how in uh, eft checkpoint is checkpoint feature is there okay see primary advantage is <coughs> manual test case scope is limited manual test case scope is limited why human user cannot concentrate on multiple verification points at a time suppose in one test case if you want to if you want to verify 20 to 30 verifications 20 to 30 verification points difficult manual test case scope is limited human user can concentrate on one or two verification points only <clears throat> at a time human user can, can't concentrate on multiple verification points <clears throat> if it is tool tool is software you can insert 20 conditional statements 30 loop statements you can use functions etc scope is unlimited you no need to concentrate tool can concentrate see final conclusion automated test scope is very high than manual test case why if it is automated test you can insert multiple verification points tool can concentrate if it is manual testing human user cannot concentrate on multiple verification points at a time for one test case one verification point if it is automated test in in a single test you can insert uh, 100 verification points also tool can concentrate tool can provide correct output if you provide correct logic suppose in manual testing we have uh 1000 thousands a thousand test cases we selected 600 test cases for automation we selected 600 test cases for automation out of 1000 cases for automating 600 test cases 600 automated tests are not required you can cover Manual 600 manual test, uh, test cases in 200 and 200 or 250 automated tests approximate. Got this point, Sojanya? Yes, sir. What is the final conclusion? Automated. So finally, testing. we can say automation is uh, got a lot of scope uh, compared to manual. Test case, uh, automated test scope is very high than manual test case. Why? Because manually we can uh, check only to an extent, hmm. but like in uh, automation we can give a lot of checkpoints. Like you know, I mean we can do a lot of verification. A uh, lot of verifications. Tool can yeah. concentrate. if we use yeah, a lot we of don't need to worry about in manual that. test case 
how many users cannot concentrate definitely we cannot do that i i can understand that <laughs> okay six last one comprehensive comprehensive means complete completeness say <clears throat> automation tools not only of t you take selenium rft test complete silk test any automation tool automation tool support batch testing you know what is batch testing executing series of tests automation tool support batch testing you can create test batches without without user interaction tool can execute series of tests quickly if it is manual testing for every test case execution user interaction is mandatory in manual testing also you can create test batches but for every test case execution user interaction is mandatory but in test automation without human user interaction tool can execute series of tests quickly see these are the important advantages of test automation shall we move to next topics uh, dinesh yes please okay <clears throat> see so far we discussed the disadvantages of manual testing advantages of test automation or you can say automated testing next third one disadvantage of test automation mm, contribute uh, surendra disadvantage of test automation see software testing uh, ah so uh, it takes more time for coming up with the scripts pardon it takes it takes it it takes more time for, mm. to come up with the scripts mm, okay see test design takes more time see it takes more time at initial stage okay so it is not recommendable for small or time bounded projects okay it takes more time see initial uh, state uh, time required it takes uh instead of time you can say efforts it takes more efforts <clears throat> at initial state ah uh, next <clears throat> why it's it not useful ah uh. it's not much useful for the short term projects okay okay uh, you tell me saujanya one or two disadvantages of test automation or automated testing it takes more efforts at initial state why already we discussed uh, for test design user interaction required uh, most of the time it takes more than manual testing time ah uh. yes you know, for designing it takes a lot of time mm. and definitely it is not good for the smaller uh, testing a small smaller group of testing okay but like if it is a bigger roof yeah definitely i okay. mean that's what i'm thinking those are the two points um, okay not much next one more thing 100% 100% testing 100% test automation is impractical see 100% test automation is impractical see for some test cases <clears throat> user observation is required 100% automation is impractical but we try to automate maximum test cases but not 
if it is manual testing even though it takes more time 100 percent testing is possible next dinesh it requires more skillful resources yes. as well as it more uh, costly see if it is manual testing only documentation skills and reasoning skills if it is automation programming knowledge is required otherwise you cannot design effective test cases <clears throat> see lack of knowledge is one of the drawback see if we use automation tool in proper manner definitely you can you can get desired benefits otherwise unnecessary time waste money waste see programming knowledge is required for test automation see you can use tool features also without programming features but if you want to design effective tests programming knowledge is mandatory next and one more thing here also one drawback in manual testing we discussed one drawback all types of testing is not possible types of testing means functional testing performance testing <clears throat> usability testing reliability testing these are test types functional basic types is uh, basic types two types functional testing non functional testing non functional testing so many subtypes performance testing usability testing recovery testing reliability testing configuration testing localization testing etc in manual testing performance testing is impractical in automation usability testing is not possible all types of testing is not possible example usability testing only human users can judge look and feel aspects see <clears throat> tools can't judge usability testing is impractical did you understand this concept saujanya usability testing sir any confusion no okay next <clears throat> uh, one technical issue is there <clears throat> i will explain that concept in debugging test chapter but brief idea debugging issues see if it is manual testing no debugging concept if it is automation sometimes not not for all tests for some tests debugging issues see debugging is development term it is not testing term we use programming in our test automation so we need to familiar with this debugging term what is debugging <clears throat> locating and isolating errors through step by step execution sometimes debugging is required in our uh, test execution when see debugging is optional but sometimes required when suppose test is uh, say in uh, in uft term is test in manual testing term is test case in uft term is test here no test case term equivalent term is test or you can say test script test or test script in manual testing test case if it is selenium test case selenium test case correct term or you can use test script term also in selenium okay say 
सपोज टेस्ट इज नॉट शोइंग एनी एरर्स वन सिनेरियो फर्स्ट सिनेरियो टेस्ट इज नॉट शोइंग एनी एरर्स एंड प्रोवाइडिंग करेक्ट आउटपुट डीबगिंग इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड सेकंड सिनेरियो टेस्ट इज शोइंग एरर्स इफ टेस्ट शोस एरर्स definitely you cannot expect correct output first correct the errors definitely you can get correct output otherwise you can think about debugging in second scenario also debugging is not required third scenario typical scenario test is not showing any errors and not providing correct output in that scenario debugging is required locating the type of errors is difficult sometimes getting this point uh, dinesh when debugging is required whenever there is an error whenever no 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 when debugging is, is i explained three scenarios concentrate when debugging is required savjanya one is like we when we run the test and the results are correct but like you know uh, in that scenario debugging not required i am asking strike for them yeah, when that, debugging is yeah. required see simple when the results are wrong uh, suppose if any errors test is showing any errors definitely wrong result yes no see scenario is whenever test is not showing any errors and not mm -hmm. providing correct output or result there debugging is required getting this point mm -hmm. if test shows errors you can correct the errors and you can yeah, correct uh, output suppose if test not mm -hmm. showing any errors and providing correct output if you if if your test provides correct output then no issue na yes Uh, third scenario typical scenario suppose test is not showing errors and not not providing correct output that time debugging is required when that type of situation occurs suppose at one point of time you you used x equal to a plus b x equal to a plus b as per your test requirement this is the design this is the formula but mistakenly you used <coughs> multiplication operator instead of addition operator is it syntax error no is it runtime error no see programming point of view it is not error as per that operator it evaluates but your test requirement point of view it is error getting this point dinesh yes <clears throat> see whenever test is not showing any errors and not providing correct output or result then debugging is required see sometimes locating this type of human errors difficult next contribute surendra anything else See, that's all I could think so. Ah, okay, not suitable. Not suitable for dynamically changing. Dynamically changing requirements. Automation is suitable for stable applications. Not suitable for dynamically changing requirements. next one more thing not suitable for dynamically changing user interface designs dynamically changing ui designs why say <clears throat> functional test automation tools are object based tools based on front end objects they conduct a test Uh, design and execution they conduct testing see uh, uh, functional test automation tools are object based test tools based on 
front end objects only they conduct testing suppose if user interface objects are changing dynamically when this type of situation occurs uh, software product development suppose product is intended for multiple customers uh, first organizations finalize functionality first they finalize functionality but user interface they change frequently uh, after getting existing customers feedback or model customers feedback they finalize user interface sometimes they release different user interfaces after getting feedback they finalize the user interface if user interface changes regularly then automation is not suitable getting this point so any confusion not not to this one but yeah i uh, suppose our application can... suppose our is development organization for example yes mm -hmm. functionality functionality finalized our application is hrms application human resources management system in this application attendance one module leaves one module payroll one module example mm -hmm. functionality is finalized but not in user interface suppose we have a lot of customers uh, using existing customers feedback or uh, model customers feedback we need to finalize that is the scenario suppose mm -hmm. we released one interface first interface with same functionality in first interface first screen having two edit boxes three buttons in second suppose after getting some feedback we redesigned our interface in second interface same first screen three edit boxes and two buttons button names changed and design also changed the type of the type of objects also changed that time if mm -hmm. you if you use automation problem na it is not reliable yeah definitely so after finalizing ui design you can automate suppose application ui design is dynamically changing that time it is not suitable isn't it so we can we can use this only on a reliable applications stable applications stable applications see functionality finalized ui design see 90% ui design finalized that time you can use yeah i got it this uh, functional automation tools uh, these functional automation tools are object based tools getting this point mm -hmm. object based tools not uh, yeah, if uh, objects are is, changing objects objects uh, uh, type of objects changing or then it is not reliable uh, not reliable type of objects so, changing so. names of objects changing that time uh, so many companies you cannot do any automation uh, testing yeah. okay uh, mm -hmm. Finalized uh, suppose requirements stable, UI design stable. That time you can use. Okay. Next one important one. Environment limitations. Import see major drawback of uh, test automation. Environment limitations. Environment limitations. Uh, try to understand this concept suppose if it is manual testing no environment limitations suppose our application deployed on windows or unix or macintosh you can apply testing uh, you can create test cases and uh, execute test cases and raise defects etc see irrespective of the application environment or operating environment you can use manual testing if it is automation environment limitations are there for example you take eft tool <clears throat> eft works only on microsoft windows operating environment one operating limitation 
suppose if you, suppose your application deployed on unix environment you cannot use uft is only for windows if it is selenium uh, selenium supports windows unix and uh, macintosh also but uft supports only windows operating environment next <coughs> this is operating uh, operating environment limitation next technology limitation <coughs> suppose using uft if you want to test java application yes java add in available you can load java add in and test java application if you want to test dotnet application dotnet add in is available if you want to test sap application sap add in is available suppose if you want to test informatica application no add in is available if you want to test d2k application developer 2000 no add in is available okay hp vendor of uft tool providing add ins for all industry leading technologies they covered nearly 80 to 90 percent but not all technologies if you want to test informatica application uft doesn't support technology limitation uh, if it is selenium <coughs> selenium supports multiple operating environments uh, uh, not multiple different operating environments windows unix uh, macintosh etc but selenium also having some limitations selenium supports only web applications if you want to test desktop applications you cannot test why selenium doesn't support desktop applications technology limitations some tools having browser limitations see operating system limitations technology limitations browser limitations etc if it is manual testing no limitations even though manual testing takes more time you can apply manual testing methodologies on any environment getting this point dinesh environment yes. limitations yes just a minute what are the limitations of eft saujanya tell me one or two environment limitations of eft tool basically in uft uh, we cannot uh, EFT in, doesn't uh, do the informatica informatica is not supporting okay. that is application EFT. environment if it is mm -hmm. operating system environment eft doesn't support unix or java you, oh, just a minute don't confuse uft supports java java applications say uft doesn't support unix operating environment unix or unix flavors like linux solaris etc next that is operating system limitation operating environment limitation next application environment limitation EFT doesn't support Informatica D2K applications. No add-ins available. Mm -hmm. If it is Java application, suppose our application, our AUT application under test, our AUT developed in Java technology, you can use UFT. <coughs> UFT has Java add-in. Suppose our application developed in .NET technology, you can use UFT. UFT has .NET add-ins. So, suppose our application developed in SAP technology, you can use UFT. UFT has SAP add-ins. Suppose our application developed in Informatica or D2K technology, we don't have UFT. Uh, UFT don't have that. Uh, UFT doesn't have that uh, add-ins. Add UFT doesn't have D2K add-in and uh, Informatica add-in. These are the limitations. Uh, next, uh, Surendra. Tell me some limitations of Selenium. It doesn't support uh, mm. desktop, desktop applications. Sorry. Yep. Desktop applications. Only web applications. Okay. Next. <coughs> 
say UFT also software tool also software it may have their own defects sometimes we may not, may not get desired benefits see tools may have their own defects own defects see these are the important drawbacks or disadvantages of test automation okay now dinesh just list out what are the drawbacks of test automation um, ah. so it will be uh, it requires more skill uh, skill resources yes um it is, it is not suitable for a dynamically changing um, application like you know change application that often dynamically changes the changing requirements yes and dynamical and dynamically changing user interface designs okay. yes and it requires debugging uh that may not require for a manual testing and uh, test design for automation could be time consuming hmm. and uh, it may be costly also okay. and it may not support not correct suppose if you use tool in design uh, if you use tools in proper way definitely you can reduce the time as well as resources tool is and it will uh, it will not be 100% it it will never replace human labor meaning automation yes. is not 100% yes see 100% test automation is not possible okay next all types of testing is not possible for example usability testing is not possible next continue saujanya saujanya uh, dinesh you go back continue saujanya environment limitations yes environment there. limitations we cannot use tools and on all operating and uh, application environments okay next and programming knowledge is required uh, i okay. mean lack of knowledge okay uh, debugging issues next debugging they issues. have their own defects so sometimes we may not get desired benefits okay mm -hmm. see uh, surendra shall we move to next topic surendra yes. yes sir okay cool uh, sorry i was on mute okay cool yeah. cool, cool. <clears throat> see so far we discussed three topics in this chapter disadvantages of manual testing advantage of test automation next disadvantage of test automation fourth one general topic types of test tools <clears throat> say uh, we are uh, suppose we are going to discuss uft tool but we need to familiar with other tools also at least brief idea okay say <clears throat> i will segregate test tools in two categories into two categories first category is business classification see tools are same but i am going to explain test tools in two different angles business classification i am going to explain in two different angles but tools are same classification see in business classification we have three types of test tools first type vendor tools vendor see vendor means manufacturer if it is industrial product we use manufacturing term but soft in software industry we use development term here vendor means tool developer vendor tools means some organization some organizations develop tools license is required in order to use those tools vendor provides technical support also based on agreements vendor tool vendor in this scenario vendor means tool developer 
general meaning manufacturer in this scenario tool developer some vendor tools <clears throat> hp is vendor hp has suit of tools uh, tell me saujanya suit of, uh, suit of test tools hp <clears throat> HP is uh, hmm. QTP. 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 Retired. New tool with yes. same uh, yes. advanced tool. UFT launched. Same. Yes. Win runner from uh, HP. Actually, Mercury Interactive. A takeover made Mercury Interactive in 2007. Win runner scrapped. Next. Same time they released load runner for performance testing. Load runner still in live more than uh, 18 years of age. Next. QTP quick test professional. Mother tool of QTP Astra quick test retired retirement software retirement also correct term real time term in maintenance retired QTP launched uh with some advanced features next after some time uh, qtp also retired qtp nearly from 2004 to uh, 2013 nearly nine years qtp also retired but win runner scrapped no other tool with same features and advanced features now uft unified functional testing so Janya, what is the difference between qtp and eft uh, simple EFT has, uh, you have to have just a minute lot of advanced problems. version of qtp is uft uft simple Advanced version of QTP is UFT. UFT equal to QTP plus service tools. Okay. Now UFT. Next. And they released test director. See HP. Before HP. Um, corporation Mercury. interactive say take over put mute take over from mercury interactive in 2007 <coughs> load runner still in live test director Test director retired. Next. Quality center. Advanced version of test director. Next. Now ALM. Application life cycle management. Advanced version of quality center. Okay. Forget about remaining. Now latest ones, UFT, HP UFT for functional and regression test automation. HP UFT for functional testing. HP load runner for performance testing. HP ALM for project life cycle management. Project life cycle management includes test management. Test management includes defect management. 
you remember these three only hp uft hp load runner hp alm okay now dinesh what is hp uft functional and regression test tool hp load runner um it's a load testing and performance testing tool load testing and performance testing load and performance see performance test tool load testing stress testing spike testing all are subsets of performance testing okay na okay load testing stress testing spike testing all are subsets of performance okay. testing load runner performance test tool using load runner you can test application load and you can uh, test load in spike manner stress manner etc okay next hp alm for test management now project manage project life cycle management developers also can use this alm okay na yeah. see final you remember these three hp uft hp load runner next hp alm alm application life cycle management next IBM IBM has some suit of tools can you tell me saujana IBM suit of tools test tools sir is ah. selenium selenium is open source not vendor tool free okay. of cost don't ah, i don't have an idea okay. see it has rft i think rational yes. functional tester. rational functional tester for functional test automation rpt rational performance tester for performance testing next and rqm ah yes Re ibm uh, rational qa director etc tools okay next micro focus earlier sig micro focus silk test silk test for functional test automation next silk performer for silk performer for performance testing etc see these are the important vendor tools <clears throat> test tools next open source tools open source see we have so many open source software available in, in the it industry for example php is open source unix open source java open source uh, mysql open source anybody can download and use open source means source code available on net anybody can download and use if you if you have programming knowledge you can modify the code and use anybody can download and use if you if you have programming knowledge you can modify the source code and use no issues free of cost see we have some open source test tools saujanya give one or two examples for open source test tools selenium what about selenium selenium is selenium. open source yeah just on it yeah sorry cool cool selenium selenium for functional testing next j meter it is for performance testing next suppose bugzilla 
Bugzilla for defect management, etc. Next third category in house tools in house tools say private tools suppose vendor tools are commercial tools in house tools private tools see some companies develop tools for internal use tool names also local suppose microsoft developed so many test tools for internal use means to test their own applications Oracle Corporation developed some internal tools for internal use. Some tools for some test tools for internal use. IBM developed some tools for internal use. In house tools, private tools only used in developed companies, not commercial. Okay. Uh, tell me, Saujanya, did you understand this concept? In house tools. What are in house tools? Basically, these are developed by, uh, I mean, HP Corporation or like, you know, whoever HP. wants to. Vendor I mean, tools. whoever wants to, they are in house tools for themselves. First of all, in house tools are private tools. Some companies develop tools for internal use. Example, IBM developed some tools for internal use. Microsoft developed some test tools for internal use. Oracle developed some test tools for internal use. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, now Dinesh, uh, this business classification, vendor tools, open source tools, and in-house tools. Mm. Any confusion? No. Okay. Next, another classification. Technical classification. I am going to cover test tools in another angle, but tools say technical classification. See, major uh, <coughs> market share, major market share. Functional, put mute, after answering the question, put mute. Functional and regression test tools. Uh, Surendra, give examples for functional and regression test tools. UFT. Uh, UFT, if it is vendor tool or open source tool, functional tool. Vendor tool. Ah, you have to vendor tool. Forget about vendor tool or open source tool. I want functional okay. and regression test tools. You have Selenium. Selenium. RFT. Silk test. Load runner. Load runner performance test tool. Don't confuse. Load runner performance test tool. What is our Classification. Any confusion, Sojanya? Sorry, no, no, I got okay. it. Okay, cool. Test complete, test partner, etc. Next, Dinesh, performance test tools. Load runner. Yes, load runner. IBM I think. RPT rational performance tester. Next, silk performer. Ah, next J meter open source. J meter, etc. Next, <clears throat> project life cycle management, ALM, 
next only defect management uh, defect management is part of project life cycle management uh, bugzilla rtc uh, so many uh, issue tracker pr tracker etc <coughs> bugzilla issue tracker problem report pr tracker etc see our training program point of view these four categories knowledge is enough our tool is functional and regression test tool our eft is functional and regression test tool Okay, now Saujanya, shall we move to next topic, last topic in this chapter? Yes. Okay, so far we discussed four topics in this chapter. Just list out the topics, Saujanya. See, in this chapter, chapter is overview of test automation. In this chapter, we discussed four topics. So, so far we discussed four topics. What are the four topics? Surendra. Disadvantage of test automation. Uh, first one, disadvantage of manual testing. Advantage of test automation. Disadvantage of test automation. Fourth one. Type of test tool. Uh, types of test tools. Next, fifth one. Overview of functional testing. Overview of functional testing. Say <clears throat> functional testing. Functional testing. It is just to try to identify. Try to identify the term. Uh, first, what is functional testing? Verifying a component or system's functionality with respect to functional requirements. Verifying a component or system's functionality with respect to functional requirements. Okay. Now, what is functional test what is functional testing i am not asking definition saujanya what is functional testing i will give four options is it sdlc model or test level or test type or test design technique test design technique no test design techniques what are test design techniques black box uh, test design techniques, white box test design techniques, experience based mm -hmm. techniques. In black box test design techniques, equ equivalence classes are equivalence partitioning, boundary value analysis, decision table testing, state transition testing, use case testing. Those are test design techniques. Functional testing is not test design technique. It is manual testing concept. Tell me, Dinesh Koti, what is functional testing? I am not asking definition. It's is it, is it SDLC model or test level or test type or test design technique? Test type. Test type. Yes. It is test type. Next, one more term. System testing. Surendra, same options. What is system testing? I am not asking definition. Try to identify the term. What is system testing? Is it SDLC model or test level or test type or test design technique? Test level. Yes, it is test level. Say basically we have four levels of testing. Unit testing. Uh, generally developers conduct unit testing. Forget about that. Unit testing. <coughs> integration testing system testing last one acceptance testing our area is 
independent testers area independent testers you are independent tester independent testers area is system testing it is test level <coughs> getting this point saujanya <coughs> we are not going to conduct acceptance testing we are not going to conduct unit testing we are going to conduct independent testing system testing system. testers I mean, type in the independent in testers type yeah, of testers test. independent testers suppose at unit testing unit testing testers developers acceptance mm -hmm. testing testers end users or customers system mm -hmm. testing testers independent testers we are going to conduct system testing na yes not uh, acceptance testing not uh, uh, unit testing not okay unit testing. system testing here in this system testing level we conduct basically we conduct two types of testing uh, depends on requirement requirements generally we conduct two types of testing one is see in system testing level in system testing level we conduct functional and non functional test types functional and non functional type test types based on requirements okay you know what is functional testing verifying a component or system's functionality with respect to functional requirements next what is non functional non functional testing verifying a system's quality attributes or characteristics verifying a system's quality attributes or characteristics with respect to non functional requirements for example performance usability reliability etc uh, find the difference between these two types functional and non functional surendra what is what is non functional testing generic definition what is non functional testing uh, testing like performance kind of thing testing quality attributes uh, or characteristics of of the system okay see okay sir. in system testing level we conduct functional and non functional testing okay now next one more term functional functional and system testing functional and system testing observe saujanya is it correct term functional and system testing All, already we discussed functional testing is part of system testing level system testing but now i am saying functional and functional system and testing. system testing is it correct sentence for example india india and canada correct term correct sentence why two different countries suppose Yes. delhi and india is it correct sentence <coughs> delhi and india mm. delhi is part of india na yes so we we can ah, now you uh, tell me now tell me functional and system testing is it correct term a correct sentence or incorrect sentence incorrect sentence okay but correct sentence <coughs> why <coughs> why say i will explain okay functional testing is part of system testing 
okay but it is independent concept not only part of system testing functional testing is part of system testing but not only part of system testing it is also part of unit testing integration testing and acceptance testing see testers may vary from one level to another in unit testing developers are tester in acceptance testing customers are testers or end users are testers in system testing independent testers are testers testers may vary from one level to another but functional testing is there in every level so functional and system testing is correct sentence meaning is functional testing in system testing level next functional and unit testing also there functional and integration testing also there functional and acceptance testing also there see functional and unit testing means functional testing at unit testing level functional and system testing means functional testing at system testing level okay now saujanya is it okay <clears throat> yes sir uh, say we have four combinations four combinations functional and unit testing next functional oh, and integration testing integration yes, testing sir. next functional and system testing next last one functional and acceptance testing see user acceptance testing is part of acceptance testing see so in every table we are we are testing all the functionals no, no. So, so. testers vary already I told na yeah testers vary but we are testing yes. all the yes. functionals functional in testing level. is there in all levels of all levels of testing in unit testing developers conduct functional testing developers yeah in uh, acceptance testing end users or customer side people conduct uh, uh, functional testing in system testing independent testers conduct functional testing but functional okay. testing is there in every test level isn't it that's right okay next uh, our tool point of view eft eft supports two combinations eft doesn't support functional and unit testing no eft doesn't support eft doesn't support functional and integration testing eft supports functional and system testing functional and acceptance testing see we conduct functional and uh, we conduct functional and system testing end users or customers conduct acceptance testing using eft tool only we need to send test scripts and a tool also to customer for conducting acceptance testing okay now dinesh final conclusion eft supports uh, functional and system testing and functional and acceptance testing testing eft doesn't support functional and unit testing functional and integration testing okay now eft supports these two combinations but our area is functional and system testing isn't it saujanya yes sir uh, functional yes, and acceptance right. functional testing is not our area yeah that is customer area it's end users area uh, as independent testers we conduct functional testing at system testing level okay okay now next we discussed what is functional testing see just a minute coverage of functional testing see <clears throat> we know what is functional testing a verifying a component or system's functionality with respect to functional requirements okay and we know functional testing is test a test type functional testing is test type next what we test 
in this area of testing functional testing okay what we test suppose if it is performance testing we test uh, users load suppose i want to test login functionality using 5000 users load that is performance testing next what is functional testing what we test in this area of testing okay you know what is functional testing but i am going to segregate functional testing activities say here first one <coughs> input input domain coverage what we test uh, tell me dinesh functional testing you know the definition what we test in this area functional testing we uh, test uh, system component system component term, like terms, uh, requirement. terms confusing okay uh, you tell me saujanya what we test in this area functional testing area we can input different data mm. uh, and uh, tr test in with different data that that's what i'm thinking right okay. now see <clears throat> see first one input domain coverage what is input domain coverage verifying whether the system here system means system has several meanings depends on scenario see system has several meanings suppose general meaning system means computer hardware and software computer hardware and software is called system but in our scenario system means aut application under test okay in our scenario system means aut what is input domain coverage verifying whether the system is accepting valid inputs or not and preventing invalid inputs or not it has to accept valid inputs and prevent invalid inputs input domain coverage verifying whether the system is accepting valid inputs or not and preventing invalid inputs or not suppose city one object is there city object edit box it has to accept alphabets only as per requirements we have to check whether that object is accepting only alphabets or not suppose it is accepting alphabets but not, but also accepting numeric values that is not correct for example suppose phone number object is there it has to accept only numeric values as per requirements that is input domain coverage verifying whether the system is accepting valid inputs or not and preventing invalid inputs or not okay now saujanya input domain coverage uh, it is like verifying the uh, system is accepting uh, valid inputs valid inputs or uh, not and preventing See, it has to accept valid input. Same time, it has to prevent invalid input. Suppose invalid accepting inputs. valid input and also invalid inputs. That is also defect, na? Mm -hmm. See, here on general topic, data factors. <coughs> See, we have some three types of data factors. One is type of data, data type. Uh, for example uh, forget about programming data types in computer programming technical data types that is different uh, their characters uh, integers string type data next uh, boolean double etc that is different general point uh, general compute uh, general term general term data type means alphabets numeric special characters star like symbols next alpha numeric 
combinations see type of data example type of data example alphabets numeric special characters next alpha numeric etc next size of data size of data suppose as per requirements phone number object as to accept numeric values only phone number object as to accept numeric values only that is type of data next size phone number object has to accept 10 digit numeric values here 10 digit is size of data type of data size of data suppose user id object accepts 10 digit or 8 digit alpha numeric data okay now surendra find the difference between type of data and size of data Surendra, find the difference between type of data and size of size of data. Dinesh. So type is alphabet numeric, size is like 10 digit, 5 digit. Yes, yes. Next one more factor is there that is range of data. Range of data. For example, in banking applications, 45 days to 165 days, interest rate 5 percent, example, 165 days to 365 days, example, 6 percent, 1 year to 2 years, 2 years to 3 years, that is range of data, not size, not type, range of data. Suppose for insurance, uh, suppose in insurance applications, 25 to 30 years for one year, uh, for one lakh insurance policy, 20, applicant age is 25 to 30 years, premium amount is 5000, example, 30 to 35 years, 7000, 35 to 40 years, 10,000, the 25 to 30 years, 30 to 35, 35 to 40 range of data okay now saujanya tell me what are the three data factors if it is manual testing or automation these these are common uh, type of data uh -huh. uh, where we will be giving alpha or alpha numeric or special numeric. characters uh -huh. Mm. And the size of data, where we'll be specifically giving how many digits or uh, like 10 digits, know, 7 kind of digits, 11 digits, 15 digits, 20 yeah. digits. Okay, next. And the range of data. Range of data is like where we give the uh, range. 25 to 30 uh, years, 30 to 35 years. 30 to 40 years. Yeah. Okay. Next. See, I think all of you are familiar with the input domain coverage. <clears throat> Verifying the system is accepting valid inputs are not and preventing invalid inputs are not next output last topic in this chapter overview of functional testing under overview of functional testing output domain coverage see output means input plus process input plus process equal to output suppose input 3 comma 5 process is addition operation output is 8 input and process equal to output see here <coughs> verifying whether the system is providing correct output or not Verifying whether the system is providing correct output or outcome or not. Verifying whether the system is providing correct output or outcome or not. Suppose we are entering some data. Input domain coverage, okay. It is accepting valid inputs 
and preventing invalid inputs. What about output? We entered 3 comma 5 operation addition. We selected add operation. It is providing 10 incorrect output. It has to provide correct output as per business logic. Sometimes after entering user ID and password, it has to provide login screen or your email screen. Suppose Gmail login operation here, no output outcome. Your outcome is your email screen, your email page. Your email page is outcome after entering valid user ID and password. It has to provide your email home page, your email page. That is outcome. See, verifying whether the system is providing correct output or outcome or not. That is output domain coverage. Okay, now uh, Dinesh, output domain coverage. Yes. Next important one. Database testing. Actually, this database testing is subset of functional testing, but it is independent type. Uh, not on, uh, database testing is not only in functional testing area. It is also part of performance testing. Database testing is part of functional testing, but not only part of functional testing, also part of performance testing, independent concept. See, what we, important area, what we test in this area of testing. Saujanya, can you tell me database testing? It's part of functional, uh, functional testing. Okay, part of functional testing. Generally, uh, give me one or two scenarios, database scenarios. Database testing scenarios. Uh, for example, if we create any record, ah, and say we, uh, we, uh, we, we verify in the database. Ah, we ver we verify. Uh, yard that, that, that record is. Yard mm -hmm. update delete operations, isn't it? Yes. Adding records updating existing records deleting records see add update delete operations these are data manipulations data manipulations okay next important one we have to verify data integrity data integrity <clears throat> for example we have to enter mass physics chemistry marks <clears throat> we entered mass physics chemistry marks <clears throat> data also stored we, we have to verify <clears throat> whether the data is completely stored and correctly stored Completeness and correctness. Completeness means we enter 10 records. 10 records. 10 into 3. 3 fields in this, in this scenario. 10 into 3. 30. 30 cells. All 30 values stored or not. That is completeness. Next, correctly stored or not. For example, we enter 10 records. 10 into 3, 30 fields, 30 values entered, complete data entered, but not in correct places. Suppose mass marks entered in uh, physics cells, physics marks entered in chemistry cell, chemistry marks entered in mass cell. That is not correctness. Getting this point, uh, uh, Dinesh, completeness and correctness. Yes. See, data integrity. Here we have to verify uh, integration of data, correctness of data, isn't it? Next, yes. <clears throat> data retrievals. Say sometimes we 
retrieve some forms of data suppose in one table 20 fields are there customer id customer name customer address customer city etc but we want to retrieve only specific data i want customer id and customer name only oh, you can retrieve specific data data retrievals next data comparisons next data recovery uh, recovery backup first backup data backup and recovery operations etc uh, see this this uh, data backup and recovery is not uh, our activity our uh, responsibility generally system administrator staff system administration staff system administration staff conduct this data and recovery operations okay na uh, saujanya did you understand this database uh, testing what are the important areas in this database testing uh, it's uh, data integrity hmm and data manipulations data retrievals data ah. manipulations ah data um, comparisons data comparisons ah. and uh, data recovery and uh, data backup and recovery first backup backup and recovery, recovery backup operation and recovery see here data comparison two types comparing front end data with back end data or comparing one resource data with another suppose i have two databases i want to compare data suppose i have thousand records in in a database same data available in excel sheet i want to compare database data with excel sheet data yes we can compare otherwise front end data with back end data suppose i entered one record in front end a record having 10 fields the 10 fields data available in back end also back end or not comparing front end with back end front end data with back end comparing two resources comparing two different databases or comparing one database data with excel data etc next last 2 minutes <clears throat> error handling see in this coverage verifying how the system is providing uh, how the system is handling user unauthorized operations verifying how the system is preventing unauthorized operations it has to provide meaningful error messages and help messages suppose if you enter invalid user id and correct password it has to provide error message invalid user id suppose if you enter valid user id incorrect password it has to provide error message incorrect password suppose you are not entering any values just clicking on submit button suppose if it is providing invalid user id and password message confusion it has to provide enter user id and password data blank na so it has to provide enter user id and password see verifying how the system is preventing unauthorized operations it has to provide meaningful error messages and help messages 
Next last one, small one. Order of functionalities. Order of functionalities. See, verifying whether the system is providing correct order of functionalities or not. Verifying whether the system is providing correct order of functionalities or not. Suppose <clears throat> Gmail login operation. Here order of functionalities. First, launching Gmail home page. Next, entering user ID, password, user ID and password and submit. After submission, email your email page, then you can uh, compose mail, delete mail, view mails, etc. Suppose this is the correct order of functionalities. Suppose whenever you launch that Gmail home page, immediately it is providing your email page. When you try to compose email, then it is asking user ID and password. That is not correct order of functionalities. See, order of functionalities. Getting this point, Sojanya? Order of functionalities. What is order of functionalities? Basically, it has to be an order. Ah. Uh, if if you are missing anything, like it has to give us a See, error okay, message. system has to provide correct order of functionalities as per tester requirements. In this mm -hmm. uh, coverage, we tested verifying whether the system is providing correct order of functionalities or not. Okay, na? These are the five important coverages in functional testing. This is about overview of test automation. Tomorrow, we will discuss uh, overview of UFT tool. Okay, na? Dinesh, any queries? Uh, no, it's clear. Okay, so what about you, Sojanya? Uh, no, I'm good too. Okay, we'll meet tomorrow, same time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye.